What is going on everybody? Welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. I have a new lens, so it is a wide angle 10 to 18 millimeter on a Canon camera and I think it looks really good. So I'm excited to move to Hawaii and start a blog over there with this lens and this camera making good videos for you. So anyways, today though I'm going to talk about what am I going to wear when I get to Hawaii that I kept with me here and I'm going to try it on for you. Here we go. So, all right, check it out real quick, guys. You know, if you go to Hawaii or if you're from Hawaii, it is very common to be very, very casual. You know, it's like being on an island. I don't know if for those of you that's been on islands before, it's very, very casual. In fact, I remember growing up, I owned a lot of shorts, not enough pants, and not enough shirts because most of the time I'm outside playing at the beach and I am shirtless and just own board shorts and slippers. So going back to it, I'm going to drop a lot of the things that I wear here overseas. And besides, I'm no longer going to be in the military. So I think I'm going to do straight casual. I get it. Once in a while, I'm still going to be in my rugged style. I'm still going to be that badass, you know, bike rider because I do ride a bike and I can't. And I, I will not, I will refuse to ride a motorcycle in my shorts and t-shirt because that is just wrong. You know what I mean? So you need some kind of protection. So long pants, boots, maybe a light jacket for the hot summer, and then a t-shirt, that's all. And of course, a full face helmet, always, right? Sorry, I just want to put the plug in there because I am a very safe rider, guys, I'll tell you what. So when it comes to this outfits though, you're gonna notice that it is very, very lax. So it might not be the same outfit you're wearing where you are, which is a little bit more colder, maybe not as warm as Hawaii, but Hawaii's feeling is like a paradise, right? You go in there, you don't need clothes, guys. All you need is for you to wake up, open your eyes every morning, look at the blue skies, look at the mountains, look at the waters and be happy. So I cannot wait. All right, let's go to the outfits. So for the first outfit, well, I won't consider this an outfit and I can tell you that the stylists and men's channel out there is probably going to cringe on what I'm about to show you. But for the first one, this is an everyday thing for us guys in Hawaii. If you're in Hawaii, you have to own board shorts. Why? Because you have to be ready for the beach at any time of the day. In fact, I live so close to the beach, I can walk it about five minutes and I'll be at the beach. And that is a common thing. Usually we get up in the morning. If you want to go to the beach to see the sun, you know, see the sun's sunrise or just go out to the beach and enjoy the morning sun, then we'll walk down there. That's why I always wear board shorts. Now, you'll notice that I'm not wearing any footwear because it is such a relaxed environment that that's what I do. I walk around normally without footwear, but to protect my feet, I wear slippers. And again, that's something common in Hawaii is that everybody wears slippers. You go to dinner, you go to Walmart, you go to places to go shop, you'll see people wearing slippers all the time. It is a very relaxing environment. That's why it's called paradise for a reason, right? And of course, I don't walk around without a shirt all the time. If I have to go to dinner, if I have to go to lunch, then I'll put on a shirt and any t-shirt would do fine. Guys, the theme of my channel is about simplicity and realistic uh, outfits, right? Uh, that can be anything. That can be jeans and t-shirt. Uh, and no, I don't own just board shorts. I do own other shorts. So such as this Uniqlo green shorts that I purchased recently. I love the length of this because it doesn't get, it doesn't pass my, my knees. And I love just the way it, the shape is and how it fits me very, very well. Uh, this is a size medium. Again, just a reminder, I'm six foot, 210 pounds recently, lost five pounds. And, uh, and my size of waist is 34, but medium fits me very well. It's kind of tight, but uh, it loosens up a little bit. I love it. A, a staple in my outfit are white shirts, and this is another white shirt right here. As far as footwear, 
Then you can go with slippers if that's what you want. And this one right here that I'm wearing is from G-Star and I'll show you two more closer later on. Uh, but also you can't go wrong with white sneakers, clean white crisp, clean white crisp sneakers is the way to go when you want to go out and impress people a little bit more upper level than just the board short and a t-shirt look. Of course, accessories is important for me. And, and you know about my Seiko SNE 395 watch with my leather band that's uh, do it yourself that I made, per, that I personally made. And of course, my um, bracelet as well from the same leather that it came from, which is the used medical bag that I got a hold of and I'm making some accessories out of it. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is a simple outfit that anyone can wear. It, can, it doesn't have to be green shorts, it can be blue, it can be white, it can be yellow. Have fun with it guys. And of course, a plain white tee is always the best. Speaking of white shorts, I love the versatility of white shorts or light khaki shorts because you can wear it with anything. So this next outfit right here, if you're intending to go to church or attend a wedding, I've seen this worn all the time. But I love the colors here because the shorts is white and the shirt has white and blue and dark blue, very loud. Uh, not loud, but you know, just very distinct blue. And I love that. It's the color of the deep ocean for me. You know, I think it goes with my skin, it goes with my eyes, it goes with my everything, right? So uh, I'm wearing my uh, different shoes here. I'm gonna show you different shoes that I'm wearing here. I'm wearing my G-Star, of course, my Cole Haan, my white sneakers, my uh, driving shoes as well. And I love, I love all of this outfit right here. You can exchange them, you can mix match them and do whatever you wanna do with them and you look good doing it. Also guys, don't forget accessories, right? I always wear a watch because that is my main accessory. And this one right here, a steel watch, like a sports watch from Longines, you can't go wrong with it, you know what I mean? Uh, it cost me about a paycheck and I've had it for a while and it still looks good every time I wear it. Last but not the least, Aloha shirts. I've made a video of this a while ago with my different Aloha shirts and that is a staple in my wardrobe. That is a staple in my wardrobe because you have to wear, I mean, it's a thing. Aloha shirt is a thing in Hawaii. It reflects the beauty of the island. This one right here is from Mango. It's made in, in Okinawa, but uh, same, another island, right? And I love the color salmon. It goes well with white, goes well with my boat shoes. You can wear loafers with it, you can wear whatever you wanna do, but when you have an Aloha shirt, you can go to church, you can go to a formal event, you can go to a wedding with an Aloha shirt. So, get yourself some good Aloha shirt and rock it. You know, anything with flowers, anything with the environment, trees, coconut trees, pineapple, whatever have you, something happy. Just go out there and have fun, all right? Hey, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you get something out of it to make your wardrobe even better. And especially now that we're starting to travel, I hope to see you in Hawaii and I hope that you bring this with you, bring this recommendation with you and have fun while you're in Hawaii. Aloha.